With transfer deadline day once again looming, teams will be scrambling to get their final few deals done, with the 31st of January set to be another busy final day of the window, begging the question once again, why does everybody leave it so late? Well ahead of the deadline, we've decided to look at every January transfer deadline day since 2003 and pick out the best deal from every year. In 2003 the best deal of the day was Jonathan Woodgate in Newcastle. The Magpies brought in Woodgate from cashed out Leeds for £9 million on the first ever winter deadline day and the centre half was a brilliant signing by Sir Bobby Robson, so much so that 18 months later he was on his way to Real Madrid, which didn't go quite as well for Woodgate who had a debut to forget for Los Blancos, first scoring an own goal then picking up a red card. In 2004 the best deadline day deal was Jermaine Defoe to Tottenham. Having impressed at West Ham, a young Jermaine Defoe moved across London to join Spurs, a move that he would make twice in his career. During his first half a season at White Hart Lane, Defoe found the net 7 times in 15 Premier League outings, costing an initial £6 million with Bobby Zamora going the other way. Tottenham had bought one of the best young strikers around and Defoe would end up spending more than a decade at Spurs across two spells with the club. In 2005 the best deadline day deal was Mikel Arteta to Everton. It was a loan deal, but the short term arrival of Mikel Arteta was still the best piece of business done that day. The Spanish midfielder arrived from Real Sociedad with a view to a permanent deal in the summer, and Arteta was instrumental in David Moyes' side finishing fourth in the Premier League that season. In 2006, the best deadline day deal was David Bentley to Blackburn. Considering the way David Bentley's career went, it might seem laughable to hear his name on a best signings list, but hear me out. The heir to David Beckham's throne was actually brilliant at Blackburn, whom he joined permanently in 2006 from Arsenal. In his first permanent game as a Blackburn player, Bentley scored an incredible hat-trick in a 4-3 victory over Manchester United, but 12 years on he's now retired at the age of 33. In 2007 the best deadline day deal was Alvaro Arbelo to Liverpool. The right back was a bargain from Deportivo and immediately made his presence known on Merseyside with a brilliant performance in the Champions League against Barcelona. The Spaniard was with the Reds for two and a half years before joining Real Madrid in 2009, spending seven seasons at the Bernabeu. In 2008 the best deadline day deal was Jermaine Defoe to Portsmouth. It's a second appearance in this video for Jermaine Defoe, who seems to be becoming the king of deadline day deals. Four years after joining Spurs, Defoe was on the move to Portsmouth to work with Harry Redknapp once again, who was building an exciting Pompey team that would eventually become financially unstable. But before all that, Defoe cost £7.5 million and scored 15 goals in 31 appearances during his one year on the South Coast. In 2009 the best deadline day deal was Yusuf Malumbu to West Brom. Another loan deal that probably went under the radar at the time, but Yusuf Malumbu's arrival from PSG would be a great piece of business from the Baggies, although it wouldn't be until the next season that they reaped the rewards of Malumbu's arrival, with the Congo International signing a permanent deal that summer and winning the club's player of the year award as they won promotion back to the top flight. In 2010 the best deadline day deal was Victor Moses to Wigan Athletic. Crystal Palace's administration meant that Victor Moses was up for sale in January 2010 for a cut price deal and Wigan were the lucky club paying £2.5 million for the winger handing him his first taste of Premier League football. For the price Moses was a brilliant signing and during his two and a half seasons with the Latics helped them dodge relegation before joining Chelsea in 2012. In 2011 the best deadline day deal was Luis Suarez to Liverpool. Finally we've got a real superstar. On one of the most dramatic deadline days ever that saw David Luiz and Fernando Torres head to Chelsea and Liverpool sign Andy Carroll, it was the Reds acquisition of Luis Suarez who would have the biggest impact long term. Costing £23 million from Ajax, Luis Suarez had an eventful three and a half seasons with Liverpool that will mainly be remembered for a shed load of goals and stunning performances as well as some less than savoury moments from the Uruguayan. In 2012 the best deadline day deal was Nikitsa Jelovic to Everton. Just based on his first six months at Goodison Park, Nikitsi Jelovic was a fantastic signing by the Toffees, costing £5 million from Rangers on the 31st of January 2012. The Croatian striker would score 9 goals in 13 Premier League appearances that season, but sadly his record would be less than impressive the following few seasons. But for his immediate impact, Jelovic was the best deadline day deal that year. In 2013 the best deadline day deal was John Stones. An absolute bargain from Barnsley, it was deadline day 2013 when Everton paid a reported £3 million for the young centre half who wouldn't make his debut until the following season. Stones looked wise beyond his years at the back, showing composure and possession which inspired Pep Guardiola to spend an obscene £47.5 million on Stones in 2016. In 2014 the best deadline day deal was Scott Dan. The centre back swapped Blackburn for Palace on deadline day 2014 after spending a season and a half in the championship with Rovers. 
Dan immediately looked back at home in the Premier League with Palace and his performances were so good at times that he was even linked with an England call up. Of course that didn't happen but Dan still has to go down as a great Palace signing. In 2015 the best deadline day deal was Deli Alley to Tottenham. While he would spend the rest of that season back on loan at MK Dons, his impact in the Premier League once he finally hooked up with Tottenham means Ali was the obvious choice for the best deadline day deal of 2015. While some people have suggested that Ali is having a bad season, the midfielder is still only 21 years old and already has more goals than Steven Gerrard and Frank Lampard did when they were only 21. In 2016 the best deadline day deal was Abdullahi Dekore to Watford. Arriving from Rennes on deadline day, Dekore was immediately sent out on loan heading to Granada until the end of the season, another club owned by the Pozzo family. While at the time De Courier didn't look like a great signing, obviously going out on loan then failing to make any impact last season at Vicarage Road, things have been different for the Frenchman this time out, playing brilliantly at the heart of the Watford midfield who performed so well at the start of the season. Obviously the wheels have since fell off, but De Courier did enough to show how good a player he is and can be. And finally our best deadline day deal from 2017 was Robbie Brady to Burnley. Sean Dyche's side paid Norwich 13 million quid for the left winger, who immediately settled into life in Lancashire, showing he had the right attitude to be a Sean Dyche player, as well as possessing the talent to help take them up the league. On his full debut for the club, Brady scored a stunning long range free kick against Chelsea, showing just why he cost Burnley a club record fee at the time. So that's the best deadline day deal from every January transfer window. Let us know which ones you agree with and which ones you disagree with in the comments below, and join us on deadline day for the worst ones we've ever seen. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.